Chairman Disney Parks Experiences and Consumer Products, Bob Chapek. Welcome. It's our pleasure to have you at the Disneyland Resort. We're here tonight to kick off Pixar Fest, a celebration of friendship. Now, I know the team has some exciting plans in store for you tonight. And I hope you all have a terrific time. Now I want to start the evening off with some thoughts about what makes coming to a Disney park so magical. That of course includes all of our Pixar activations at our parks around the world. And as you know, it's just one of the many franchises at Disney that we're able to draw upon to make magic for our guests. So you hear the term Disney magic all the time. But what does it really mean? Well, it's that feeling you get when you actually become part of your favorite story. The joy that you feel when your child meets a hero that they've only seen on the big screen. And it's that moment when a cast member goes above and beyond to turn your visit into a lifelong memory. Since 1955, we've been bringing that magic to families here in Anaheim and all around the world. And behind it all, right from the very beginning, has been the world's best storytelling, including the amazing stories created by the teams at Pixar. Pixar has brought us to a world in which cars are just as human as we are, has shown us the softer side of the monsters under our bed, and of course, taken us to infinity and beyond. And behind all these stories are the humor, heart, and friendship that we come to expect. Now, the world's children and adults have made these stories a very special part of their lives, and I'm certainly one of them. Many years ago, before Pixar premiered the very first Toy Story film, I was invited up to their studio in Point Richmond and lucky enough to see parts of that film in development. For all the Pixar fans, it was the historic screening room, sitting on one of those old, vintage, 70s-style couches that they had. And from the early wireframes to the snippets of completed scenes, the technology was absolutely amazing. And in my gut, I knew it was the beginning of something that was very, very big, a real game changer. And that's one of the reasons why tonight is so special. We're taking what Disney Parks does best, which is creating magical experiences, and then combining it with some of the greatest stories of all time to give guests something totally new so let me take you on a little tour of how we're bringing Pixar stories to life around our world. And by the way, if you weren't already itching to visit one of our Disney parks, I'm sure you will be after what you hear coming soon. So over the next couple of months, we'll open two new Toy Story themed lands, one in Shanghai and one in Orlando. Our guests in Hong Kong and Paris are already love playing in Andy's backyard. And we're thrilled to bring that experience to two new locations. And in just a couple of weeks, 
Russell and Doug from UP will begin taking guests on an adventure as they discover bird species in an all new show at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And believe it or not, there are even more Pixar experiences coming to Walt Disney World. In fact, we're bringing one of Disneyland Paris's top attraction, inspired by Ratatouille, to Epcot in what will be an expanded and enhanced France pavilion. We think it's the perfect place to invite guests on a crazy culinary adventure through Gusteau's kitchen. And of course, right back here in Anaheim, we're just getting started. Because before any of these attractions welcome a single guest, here at the Disneyland Resort, we'll celebrate the DNA of Pixar. And as you all know, that includes the enduring friendships forged amongst so many characters. Pixar Fest will feature new entertainment, specialty food and beverage, merchandise, and yes, of course, attractions. You'll be immersed into the worlds of Pixar in entirely new ways across every aspect of your visit. And what better way to experience all the new fun and entertainment than with all of your friends? And it all builds to the capstone Incredicoaster, which will open at Disney's California Adventure right after Incredibles 2 hits theaters. It will thrill you. Now, I had an opportunity to walk the construction site last week, and I will tell you, we are all in for a real treat. The Incredicoaster really looks amazing. And we can't wait for you to see Incredibles 2 on the big screen, and then join those film's heroes right here at Disney California Adventure. Now, we're so excited that, in fact, I brought a little surprise for all of you. We thought it might be fun to debut the new trailer for that film here tonight. What do you say? Would y'all like to be the first audience in the world to see this new trailer? Yes! All right. I thought that might be the case. Okay, so now, this is a sneak peek only for you in this theater tonight. It's being released to the world tomorrow morning. So please don't record it. Deal? Yeah. All right, great. Let's watch it. Incredibles 2. Amazing and incredible. I can't wait for you all to see it this summer. So all the Pixar experiences I talked about are just the latest examples of how Disney Parks is extending the world's favorite stories after the credits have rolled, and there's so much more to come. Even with more than 90 experiences at our parks around the world, we have only scratched the surface. So on behalf of all of us at Disney Parks, thank you so much for being here. And now that you've gotten a taste of how Disney Parks brings the incredible storytelling of Pixar life, I'd like to welcome the new president of the Disneyland Resort, Josh Tomorrow, who will take you through all the exciting details of Pixar Fest. Ladies and gentlemen, Please help me welcome Josh tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone's having fun. Pixar characters and stories have delighted Disneyland Resort guests for years. Whether you're battling Emperor Zerg with Buzz Lightyear, or you're taking an underwater adventure at Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage, or you're just cruising along Route 66 in Cars Land, it's pretty safe to say that Pixar stories have been a huge part of your visit to the Disneyland Resort. There's a good reason why these stories resonate in theaters and right here in our theme parks. At the Disneyland Resort, we believe that experiences are better when we share them with friends, with family, and with loved ones. Which ties to the central theme of so many Pixar films. It's the true meaning of friendship. Whether it's Joy and Sadness, or Mike and Sully, or Buzz and Woody, Pixar stories and characters unite us all through these depictions of unlikely and endearing friendships. And what better way to celebrate these stories, the characters, their friendships, than by inviting all of our guests further into the heartwarming worlds of Pixar. Pixar Fest and its spirit of friendship will bring these stories to life in new and unique ways. Now, in just a few minutes, I'm going to welcome our creative director to the stage. She's going to take you through the new entertainment details so you don't miss a thing while you're here. But before that, I want to share some other ways that guests will be able to celebrate Pixar with us. Our merchandise teams have been going crazy putting together some amazing new items, such as apparel, friendship bracelets, headwear, and souvenirs. 
all to help guests show off their Pixar spirit. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm kind of a classic guy. So personally, I like the classic ear hats with the Pixar pals. So check that out. When Wally and Eve get close together, you can see a hidden heart in their ears. So I'm a classic guy, so that sometimes means I dress in a blue suit and I have a white shirt. But, check these out. Can't go wrong. You can never go wrong with some Pixar alien socks. And guess what? They're part of Pixar Fest. So, now onto my favorite part, it's the food. I'm sure you've seen fruit bread. And I know many of you have tried the rose gold churros. I hope you have. Well, our culinary team continues to find new ways to incorporate storytelling into all of our dining experiences. I'm not going to show you everything, but I'd like to share just a few of my favorites. A Pixar Fest celebration cake, inspired by the iconic yellow Pixar ball. A fried bologna sandwich, just like Carl and Ellie Fredrickson would eat from the Disney Pixar film. Oh, it's actually really, really good. And an alien macaron that you can get your claws on. I love that. It makes me smile every time I see it. So as you can see, our food and beverage teams have let their imaginations run wild. And they had a great time putting these food items together. So now, all of this leads to an amazing summer when we unveil the new Pixar Pier in Disney California Adventure. In this new land, you'll find a host of reimagined merchandise, entertainment, games, attractions, and dining experiences, including the Lamplight Lounge which will take the place of the Cove Bar. So, I'm sure many of you have been to the Cove Bar before. Okay, a few. And I'm guessing that you've had the lobster nachos? Okay, well, don't fear. When you visit that Lamplight Lounge, the lobster nachos will still be on the menu. But, for now, we can't wait to open the first ever Pixar Fest, the biggest celebration of Pixar stories and characters ever at a Disney park. Okay, so do you want to hear more about the Pixar Fest entertainment? Yeah. Alright, I thought so. So, let's please give a warm welcome to Disney Parks Live Entertainment Creative Director, Susanna Tuber. to this heartwarming celebration of Pixar's beloved characters, favorite stories, and of course, their whimsical worlds. So let's take a walk through Pixar Fest, with, where Friendship and Beyond is celebrated on scales, both small and large. At the main entrances of both parks, three playful marquees capture the fun in Pixar Fest. Then, as we make our way down Main Street, USA, Disneyland's iconic musical troops will bring their own spin to Randy Newman's hit song, You've Got a Friend in Me. And bringing the fun to Disney California Adventure Park, we will celebrate Pixar Pals at Paradise Gardens. Mike and Sully, Woody and Buzz, Russell and Doug, The Incredibles, and even Flip and Atta will team up throughout the day to create special memories for our guests. Once you've had a chance to bond with your favorite Pixar pals, you will definitely want to head over to the bandstand for our new concert. Triple Dent Gum presents the Pixarmonic Orchestra. Here's a quick look behind the scenes. The Triple Dent Gum is reminiscent of the old radio shows, the old television shows that were sponsored by a well-known product. So in our case, Triple Dent Gum, from the film Inside Out, is sponsoring the Pixar Monic Orchestra. The inspiration for this group came from a lifelong love and appreciation for the music of Spike Jones and the City Slickers. The zany assortment of instruments that he used. I wanted this to be entirely family friendly. So grown-ups are going to love it, kids are going to be jumping up and down to the beat of the music. Uh, and we're playing all the favorite Pixar tunes. I want our guests to feel as if they have made seven new friends. And I want them to go home and pull out all of their pots and pans and spoons and forks and sticks and make their own music just like we do at Pixar Fear. Sponsored by Triple Dent Company. And now we're very pleased to 
tell you all about the return of two of our fan favorite parades. Pixar Play Parade. We hope you enjoyed an earlier performance this afternoon of this high energy celebration of all things Pixar. Because over at Disney California Adventure Park, you're in for more magic with the return of the amazing award winning Paint the Night Parade. In fact, to tell you a little bit more about the new Pixar story elements, here are a couple more of our live entertainment team members. One of the neat opportunities that Disneyland Park offers is the parade route is a little bit more intimate than Disney California Adventure, so our guests are really going to experience Pixar Play Parade right up close. The Pixar experience that we are hoping to relate to our guests is the friendship element of all the different Pixar characters with the choreography, with all the dancers. Pixar Play Parade has three new elements. You may have seen right out the gate our first new element. It's the Pixar lamp and the Pixar ball. Inside Out is our second edition. Inside Out is cute, it's fun, it's got joy and sadness up on top of a red wagon soaring down the parade route, as cute as can be. One of the new story elements to the parade is our up unit. Uh, it's fantastic, it's a little mini paradise hall. One of the things you may have seen is our brand new Kevin. We brought Kevin to life, she is amazing, she's colorful, she's almost 10 feet tall. Uh, it's, it, I think it's gonna be one of the more dynamic new additions to the parade. I think people are gonna really find it. Uh, Cool. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed seeing Pixar Play Parade at its new home at Disneyland. Now, here are Randy and Tracy to tell you about Paint the Night Parade at its new home. We are so excited to be getting ready to launch Disney Paint the Night Parade in Disney California Adventure. You are going to enjoy a million and a half points of light in Disney Paint the Night Parade. And at Disney California Adventure, we're able to show you the whole parade, all the scenic elements in one shot where you'll see everything coming down the parade route. And of course, we have our favorite Pixar friends, Sully and Mike from Monsters, Inc., Woody, Buzz, and Jesse from Toy Story, and of course, Lightning McQueen and Mac Truck from Cars. Stay tuned because this summer we have some incredible friends joining us. We are so excited. Beginning June 15th, we will be launching a new story element that is based off the amazing Incredibles. In addition to Mr. and Mrs. Incredible and Frozone, we will also be showcasing via innovative visual technology, Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack. There's always something new and yummy to discover in Disney Paint the Night. I am so excited. In just a little while, you're going to be able to enjoy Disney Paint the Night Parade at Disney California Adventure. I cannot wait for you to see these beautiful, spectacular lights, gorgeous costumes, these beautiful performers, smiling faces. I know you are going to love it. So now we get to the crown jewel of Pixar Fest. It's Disneyland's ode to the heart of Pixar. Together forever, a Pixar nighttime spectacular. Our new spectacular celebrates the great storytelling that makes Pixar films so unique. And so, with Together Forever, we have captured the iconic ways in which friendships develop in so many of these wonderful movies. You will be transported on an emotional journey with our Pixar pals as they first meet, fall in like, set out on adventures, and as they overcome adversities, forge everlasting bonds together, forever. And much like a composer might write a musical symphony for an orchestra, our live entertainment team was inspired to create a visual symphony that brings together the different multimedia elements of the show. The music, projections, dialogue, sound, lighting, special effects, and of course, most importantly, stunning fireworks that support the emotional arc of this journey. Knowing that you will be experiencing Together Forever later tonight, here are a few of the unique show elements that you'll want to look out for. We open with Buzz Lightyear, who takes flight 100 feet in the air above Sleeping Beauty Castle, surrounded by dazzling fireworks. It's here that the arc of our story actually begins, with some of the most memorable and humorous chance encounters between unlikely Pixar cats. You'll see Wally and Eve falling in like as they fly right past you in an immersive star-filled sky that envelops Main Street USA. And in one of the most awe-inspiring moments of the show, as these two characters fly off the castle, they transform into translucent fireworks. Next, you'll find yourself in the middle of Miguel's fantastical adventure in the land of the dead, and then trackside at Lightning McQueen's race. So be sure to listen for the new surround sound along Main Street 
that will be present during Coco's otherworldly fiesta and as the cars zoom right past you. And then, when the Incredibles and Frozone join forces to battle the villainous Omnidroid, I have no doubt that you're going to be rooting for them. It's a showstopper of a scene, with exhilarating fireworks and an exciting new musical arrangement of the theme song from this film, all of which builds to one of Pixar's most riveting and climactic life and death scenes, which you may remember from Toy Story 3. Just when it seems that all is lost, friendship triumphs in an emotional turn that is sure to pull at your heartstrings when you hear the theme song from Up. The Fredrickson House takes flight above Sleeping Beauty Castle, personifying the everlasting bonds between Carl and his beloved Ellie. Then, during the rousing fireworks finale, the Pixar pals come together one last time. And as we discover them within the memory orbs from inside out, we celebrate the extraordinary Pixar stories that forever live within us all. I had the pleasure the immense pleasure of working with an amazing team. And so, before we wrap up, I'd like to share with you a quick peek at some of the unique effects that make this spectacular so wonderful at the different venues where it will be played. Take a look. We wanted to make sure that everybody knew that Pixar is in the house. So we decided to put Buzz Lightyear flying over the castle, greeting everyone, he actually says to friendship and beyond, which fits in perfectly with the Pixar Fest. This show is a completely immersive experience. During the Coco scene, please make sure that everyone looks up. You'll see 10 townspeople surrounding Main Street, looking down and enjoying the fiesta. You don't really just have to watch fireworks from Main Street or the castle anymore. At Rivers of America, we are using all of the wonderful playthings to help enhance the story. There'll be fog, there'll be lighting, there'll be the amazing lasers that we'll be able to bring those stories to life. I really hope that everyone is able to take away something heartfelt, something fun, and really enjoy a fireworks show that's based on those wonderful Pixar stories. Pixar Fest is truly a celebration of everything that makes Pixar, well, Pixar. And as we bring to life the heart, the humor, and the whimsy of these Pixar films, we are reminded that no matter where our adventures take us, be it down beneath the waves or up into the clouds, our friends will always stand beside us and continue to prove that we, all of us, are stronger together. So with that, I would like to thank you so much for joining us tonight and to leave you with a special surprise. You've Got a Friend in Me has become synonymous with both Pixar and friendships. And here to perform a new version of the song created especially for Pixar Fest, please welcome Jordan Fisher and Olivia Holt. Thank you. 